We must preserve the integrity of the US House of Representatives and censure Adam Schiff today. <laughs> yeah, it was George Santos when he was talking about integrity. Uh, it's cute, I don't really think he knows what that word means. But anyway, he was referring to Democrat Adam Schiff, who Republicans held a vote to censure over his record of criticizing Donald Trump while he was heading a House committee dealing with intelligence. This for the Huffington Post. Schiff was chairman of the House's Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence or HPSCI, until he was denied a seat on the panel this year after Republicans regained control of the chamber. He also served as one of the impeachment managers in the 2020 Senate trial of Trump, who attempted to withhold military aid for Ukraine, unless its government announced an investigation of his Democratic rival, Joe Biden. Wednesday's House vote made good on a threat by Speaker Kevin McCarthy. A few weeks ago when in reacting to an indictment against George Santos, he publicly mulled whether Schiff should face repercussions for things the Democrat had said about Trump. That's cute. Santos concurred, of course, as you saw in the video, and he thought that this would be a perfect and totally non-ironic time for him to speak out about Schiff. Congressman Schiff abused his power to pursue the Trump campaign and its campaign staff. This abhorrent behavior is unacceptable for a member of Congress. Congressman Schiff has called this resolution to censure a quote, terrible misuse of House precedent and resources and an attack on the Constitution. I would suggest Congressman Schiff look inward and more closely consider his remarks. To not carry out a censure would be a miscarriage of justice and a dereliction of our sworn duty as members of the House of Representatives. We must preserve the integrity of the US House of Representatives and censure Adam Schiff today. This raggedy man known as George Santos is doing nothing but playing in our faces. We know the man has been hit with all sorts of charges. Uh, let's talk about a few of them. So on Wednesday, May 10th, the embattled congressman was arrested on a string of 13 federal criminal charges. Santos was charged with seven counts of wire fraud, three counts of money laundering, one count of theft of public funds, and two counts of making material false statements to the House of Representatives, according to an indictment. Now, federal prosecutors say Santos defrauded political donors while running for Congress last year, which is interesting because Schiff is only what accused of um, not saying nice things about Donald Trump. Yeah, okay, well, more on Santos. So Santos allegedly laundered the money through two personal accounts, then used it for his personal benefit, including to make cash withdrawals, personal purchases of luxury designer clothing, credit card payments, a car payment, payments on personal debts and bank transfers to his associates, according to the indictment. Also, Santos allegedly lied about where he went to high school and college, lied about having a degree in economics and finance, claimed he worked for Goldman Sachs and Citigroup, lied about founding an animal charity and swindled a disabled veteran out of his dog, ripped off an Amish dog breeder with a bad check, falsely claimed 9-11 took his mother's life. And of course, that's not all of it, because I think I remember him having this flourishing volleyball career in college. It never happened. But going back to Schiff, well, the vote failed. Yeah. And after all that tough talk, well, guess who didn't even vote in favor of the measure? The resolution introduced by Representative Anna Paulina Luna of Florida was tabled on a 225 to 196 vote, with 20 Republicans joining 205 Democrats and voting to scuttle the effort. Seven representatives, including Representative George Santos, voted present. Yeah, so he is all talk, no action, uh, which seems to be the exact opposite of what they call his integrity, which means being about it and you know speaking about it, being about it. I mean, at this point with George Santos, I'm just waiting for him to start his YouTube career. Like, let's be real, okay? You're gonna run around talking about integrity. I mean, like, it's just so funny, right? You have somebody who is so obviously lied about so many different things. And then like, I mean, I don't know, do we expect anything different from him to talk about integrity from other people? Because there's nothing more that people like who just lie and lie all the time love to talk about than how much they think other people are lying. I mean, he's just really kind of like, he saw what Donald Trump did and he was like, wow, right wingers literally do not care if you lie directly to their faces, even just like in rapid succession. So I'm just gonna do that. And so 
That's what George Santos did. And so I guess congratulations to George Santos for still getting into Congress despite being like such an obvious ridiculous liar. And like, I don't know, at what point like do we just expect things like this from him? Like it's just silly at this point. It is beyond absurdity. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we can expect anything different. <laughs> No, I really don't think so. But it'll be really interesting for his testimony in his case. Although I don't think he's going to take the stand. Anyway, Trey. Yeah, I mean, him saying this would be like Marjorie Taylor Greene saying that AOC is too crazy to be in Congress. You know what I mean? Marjorie Taylor Greene lecturing people on not having boogity boogity lunatics on Capitol Hill. Like, I would have the same reaction to that. Although I have to admit, like, that also wouldn't surprise me. None of this really surprises me given their preternatural aptitude for projection. You know, it's one of the things they truly excel at is projecting. And it's like him uh, him giving this totally unfounded and hypocritical lecture on integrity and then not even doing the thing he said he was gonna do in the middle of that lecture is just like, it's just chef's kiss. I mean, I don't know what more you want out of these people. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.